Hello beautiful angels, I'm very excited for this new video because let me tell you, we are preparing for Christmas, we have house updates, we've got some new furniture bits coming in, I'm so excited. I get to show you all around the house, renovation updates, but also just some family time. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for this video and I really hope you like it. Good morning, everyone. How are you all doing? Welcome back. I don't know what part you've come back to, but welcome back. I haven't actually spoke on a vlog for a long time, but today I'm gonna to show you what I'm doing with Josh. Well, Josh is doing, I'll be supervising. And it's a really sad day actually, because it's actually Josh's last day working on the house. And He's moving to France. He's if he, For those that have watched the renovation vlogs will know that Josh from Australia, he's been here for two years. Um, he's were, been working for a company uh, doing uh, lock conversions. He's just incredibly talented. He's, you know, I'm absolutely gutted to see him go on a personal level as well as uh, working on the house level because he's just so good, so thorough, and we just love having him around. So that's going to be sad for me and sad for Mills. So... Um, but you know, I wish him all the best for his, for the rest of his journey. He's going into France now, so um, I hope he has a good time there. And yeah, I'll stay in touch for sure. But he's such a nice guy. I might get him on the blog a little bit today. But I um, just wanted to show you what we're doing today in this downstairs room. So before we bought the house, it used to be a garage, but previous owners converted it into a room. So this is where I actually did the shower challenge. So. It's all changed a bit since then, and the shower as well. We haven't got a shower yet, but that is sort of the process of today. We're actually building the floor in the sort of, it's a downstairs toilet, but because it had the the services, where I mean services, I mean like the water. So um, we're gonna keep a shower in there, and then this can become a sort of, you know, a guest stay over room. We're gonna put a floor in, in there to get ready for the plumbers, put a shower tray in, and then finish up in there. And also we're going to be putting up a bed in this area, in this room as well. I'll show you around in a sec. And this is also where the honey store is stocked. So there's lots going on in this room. It's I, I've tidied it last night. I stayed up to like half 12. So it's like calculated mess in my, my eyes. I'm happy with everything where it is. So um, let me just show you around. So yes, over here we have the honey store. And so, and then as we go around, this is what I've just emptied out this morning. There's the Emma mattress we're going to be using on the bed. Um, and then going into here. So before when I did the shower challenge, the door was here. We swapped it over this side. And then we're going to be building the floor this morning. So it looks like a lovely little swimming pool at the moment. But the shower is going to be down there. We've built in the little niche. So, you know, you can put your, your nice soaps and stuff there. So that's where the shower is going to be. And then the sinks go in there. And then the toilets go in there. So... It's going to be very compact and a nice little tower rail there as well. I've got to do something about this hole because I can feel the draft coming through now. That's the saw waste pipe, so that's where your, your pupils and your wee wees go. Um, so we've got a box that in as well, so you don't want it out on display. But yeah, it's going to be quite a nice little room. It's one for the last to be finished in the house, but... He's a man of many talents because, to be honest, it's not... He's a carpenter, like, he's done the, he's done the downstairs, like, cabinet. He's not a cabinet maker, but he's just, you know... He's willing to try anything for us. He knows that we don't really have anyone else that we can do it for us. So um, he's he's just a great lad. So yeah, I will keep you updated with the process. We're gonna build a floor today. And then as we do more, I, I shall show you. So here we have it. A floor is now built. Might need to put a little bit more concrete down, but that's fine, but I think I some magic. Obviously everything else is the same. Look at that. Beauty. It's like renovating all over again. Hello, the honey store. <laughs> He's just asleep listening to some white noise. I just took her on a little walk. Oh, wow, I look good. <laughs> so this room needs to be changed round and we have some updates. I am so excited because I've ordered a bed. The bed is actually out here. Yeah, the bed's here. And I've ordered a new mattress, which I'm really excited to show you. So. This vlog is gonna be all about changing this room around and doing lots of bits. Spencer has been trying to do as much as he can, but I've got to put bits away. There is so much stuff. It's actually making me, we've got to clear all this. We've got to clear all this, sorry. So basically that's not even half of the honey store stock. We have literally got thousands and thousands of bits of products um, and all the new products as well, but Basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to try and look for a fulfillment center um, so that we can 
you know, get the orders sent out straight away and also the fulfillment centre will keep the stock because we haven't got a warehouse as of yet. Um, so that's that's how that's going. I've got to go through loads of bits. I've got whole bags of giveaways. That rail is broken, so we've got to get rid of that rail. But so Christmas is actually here this year, which is really exciting because it's our first year here with the house being renovated. I know it's not completely finished, but it's Renalia's first Christmas. So we wanted to have it here because normally we'd go to my dad's and my mum's. Um, so it's my dad's year this year for Hugo. So dad and Hugo and my older brother are going to be here for Christmas. And then for Boxing Day, my mum's going to come down. So my mum and Pete, her partner, my stepdad, Freya, my little sister, and Hugo are going to be here as well. So, so it's really exciting. So we're sort of prepping for Christmas now, getting everything sorted and yeah, just trying to really sort through everything. So it's exciting. So I've saved loads of Renalia's clothes to make into a blanket and also ones that we loved her in to give her when she's 18 and stuff. But I've basically packaged up, I did a little giveaway on my Instagram, just wanted to send some bits to some mums, obviously. It's a hard time, you know, mums. Renalia's just being rocked. It's very expensive this time of year, Christmas. And there's lots of bits that Renalia doesn't fit anymore, vests and just little bits like that. So sleep suits, it's like a little fart, it's like a little blow off. Or was that her waking up? She's waking up. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give back. I mean, I wish I could give back to all of you guys, but it was just sort of first come, first serve. Whoever messaged me and said they really needed it, then I just wanted to send it. Oh, was he not putting the handles on? Um, we need to get longer things. So I just got, uh, he's made the holes for me. I just got to screw it in. Okay, so very exciting. Here we go. These ones, these are, our, we've got to get them painted. Dad's going to have to paint them. Um, but because it's what, wood is it? MDF. And he's like seven coats of white paint. But are we actually having these ones then? We're not having them, you've got to get longer ones. No, we haven't had them, but like, what colour they are? White? Yeah. That's what we're having? Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, gosh, okay, good, yeah. So they're going to be white, so they can just sort of mesh in with the um, here, because we didn't really want it to be like, we've got a massive cupboard, you know what I mean? But here we go, look at that. Oh, wow, you're yeah, jealous, aren't you? Uncle Hugo woke her up. So she's awake now. She loves this chair, by the way. We haven't actually put, we haven't even taken the label off. We haven't actually put the, all oh, the plastic there. We haven't put the um, batteries in, have we? What do you think? <laughs> Tired, are we? She's really chewing her hands, she loves it. What do you think? But yeah, you put batteries in it and you can, it vibrates and does little different things. So you need to get some batteries. Do you like that bed, Dad? I would, I wouldn't give a fuck how much you paid for it. No longer PG, we are 18 rated. It apparently is a nightmare to put together. Yeah. It's really a nightmare, it doesn't go together, the screws don't go in. It's an absolute load of, yeah, hope Hugo appreciates that it's, it's a nice bed yeah. though. It looks like a nice bed, so well done, Dad. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep talking so he doesn't talk yeah, and swear. Bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> uh, we've also got a very exciting delivery here because this is our dining room table. I'm very, very excited. That's her sensory blanket, but I'm very, very excited about this because we've got this space to fill. I'm so buzzing, Spencer's been hoovering, but yeah, woo, we're gonna put a lovely dining room table there because we're having Christmas here this year, so we're getting ready. Spencer's gonna put the dining room table together. That's really exciting. We haven't got any chairs yet, I've ordered them. So that's exciting. Are you excited for Christmas? Are you excited for Christmas? Mum, mum. Hello. Hello, it's mummy. It's mummy. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Hello, cheeky girl. Oh, would you like a feed now? Yes, would you like a little feed? Come on then. Should we go get some milk? Some milk. What do you think? Oh, oh. 7 a.m. the usual morning line up. Start on the chores and sweep till the floor is all clean. Yes, <laughs> polish and wax till laundry, lock and china. Are you singing as well? 
Sweet. Okay, milk, 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 milk. Oh no, her poor little dress. Oh. Give her some dignity, the poor girl. <laughs> Showing off her mini. Hey. Oh. <laughs> he loves cuddles. Right, so basically, I know you're not the biggest fan of being upstairs when she wakes up in the night and she's crying. Yeah. So, for Christmas, we wanted to gift you a new mattress on a new bed. Emma mattress, gift for gift of a good night's sleep. Gift yeah, absolutely. So Don't basically... worry, sleep happy. Yeah, you're staying down that. for Christmas till New Year. So we wanted to give you the downstairs room. We're working on getting the ensuite done, but we basically needed a small double to come downstairs because this room downstairs hasn't got enough space for Hugo's bed upstairs. So you've actually got a much nicer mattress. This is what we wanted originally for his bed upstairs. Yes. You can put <laughs> Mum and Pete down in this one if you want. Yeah. No, Spencer's just getting out now. I'm very, very excited. Look at the bed, it's looking lovely. So basically, it's a nice size for this room because it's not the biggest of rooms, but obviously the ensuite's there. So yeah, Emma mattress, look at this. She's oh it's got so many layers. Oh, I thought I'd cut it then. Stop, no, you they haven't. Actually, the mattress actually, I was using a knife, but they actually send uh, uh, a safe way to open that's it. That's good. So, um, yeah. Sweet dreams, dreams are free with this. Who am I to disagree? We're so cringy and we love a new mattress. Everybody's looking for a good sleep. <laughs> you never get it. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Lie on it. What? Oh, it's nice, isn't it? You lucky, boy. Yeah. Do you like it? Comfy. Is it? Get the baby on then. Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to tell you some things about it. Get the baby. So, I'll get the baby. He calls her an alia baby. So. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Huge. It's nice, isn't they it? They spend all day in bed. Oh my <laughs> god, this is nice. We're going to love this as well because he gets really hot. I've put some pillows here now. It doesn't trap any moisture, so you're not going to get hot when you sleep or sweat. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's not going to... Better for your body to sleep cold. Yeah. He likes it cold. He likes you? it cold. He doesn't yeah. like being really over it's for you. No, it's better for your body to sleep yeah. cold. Oh, they actually do a 200 um, scientifically proven. night trial. 200 night trial yeah. for you to be able to... And that's how you know well, the Emma mattresses are good. about 200 days already. 200 days. <laughs> I probably have, haven't I? You get free returns and 10 year guarantee. Not that you care about this, Hughes, but I'm just saying. I think it's very good. They keep your back completely aligned, whether you're a front sleeper, a side sleeper. I couldn't sleep on my front for nine months. Look at you. You're loving it. You're already going to sleep. Child the baby then. Yeah, Let's baby girl baby needs to it. test it. Come yeah, on. He loves to have a cuddle. Oh, look, she looks she so scared. Do you like Uncle? What she likes about the most, a 10 year guarantee. Oh, yeah. she's sleepy. <laughs> Do you like cuddling with Uncle? Hey. Oh, she's really tired. She's doing, she, support, she watched Man United yesterday. Staring at the camera. Supports Man United. Wow. <laughs> Here he is, Angels, loving his absolute life. I have a discount code for Emma Mattress, which I will put on the screen. Now go and check it out. This is such a nice bird. I'm a little bit jealous. But the thing is, about six o'clock in the morning when she wakes up, I go and get in bed with you, go have a little cuddle. Yeah. So I'll be coming down here, big man. <laughs> He's like, get out, get out. <laughs> so, Angels, just wanted to come on here and have a little quick clever girl. Just wanted to come on here and have a quick chat. We're currently in her wake window. So this morning, clever. So this morning, Anna, <laughs> this morning. Oh, really? Is that Mr. Lion? Is that Mr. Lion? Is it Mr. Lion? Oh, do you like him? You like Mr. Lion? <coughs> Clever girl. Wow. Oh. Getting excited. She gets frustrated. He's saying hello to you. He says hiya. He's, he's speaking back. Watch her look at the camera when I put the camera right there. Are you speaking to your friend? Maybe she loves me slightly. You look handsome. What, this old thing? Oh. Hey, hi. Oh, now you seen Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Dada. Oh, hey. wow. Is that Daddy? Hello. Hey. Basically, Anna from Sleeping Bunnies came around this morning. She came here at half seven um, when Renalia woke up. And we're basically working with Sleeping Bunnies, a coach, Anna. Um, who's her holistic sleep coach. She's absolutely incredible. I mean, I want her to be my friend. <laughs> I want her to be my friend. So she's just helped us and we actually got a self-settle. We actually got a self-settle. Um, 
which is miraculous because I know I haven't really spoken about my sleep journey so much on here. I've spoken about it more on Instagram. It's been a journey. It's been a journey. And I'm here to be completely honest. Like she's, you know, sometimes she wakes up every half an hour for a quick feed and then a snooze and she just wants to be held to sleep. She wants to be held to sleep. And in the very beginning, the very beginning, she with dad there. In the very beginning, um, we were doing everything we could to just get some sleep because she wouldn't, she hated her snooze pod. Then she went in the snoo um, and she likes the snoo, but she doesn't do long stints at all. You know, the snoo gave us more time. She doesn't like being swaddled. She doesn't like her arms being in. She didn't like um, too much of the motion. So for a lot of the time we were having her sleeping on us. So it was, it's been a journey and Anna has just, she's so amazing at her job. Isn't she Spence? Yeah, she's and having her here was just that extra bit of support and she's on hand. She's so, oh, she's, yeah, you love Anna. Yeah. It's just, I feel like now we're on the right track to, you know, working towards Renalia getting sleep because it's not just about us getting sleep, it's for her. It's for her growth, it's for her development. It's for her as she gets older. It's for her to be able to do certain things as she gets older and. <laughs> yes, mommy and daddy love you so much. But um, it's going to be, Anna said basically these next couple of days are going to be the, the challenging bits. But you'd give, ne you'd give a couple of days of a challenge for a good stint and to set the foundations in place for her future. Um, you know, I see so many things on Instagram and so many um, unrealistic expectations I think I had. No, I didn't because I knew that she'd probably be a sleeper like me and not like Spencer. Um, and fight sleep and you know whatever but yes oh she's such an angel but i've seen so many people on instagram say how their baby sleeps through the night and da -da -da, and i was like oh my god my baby's waking for a feed and you start really putting this amount of pressure on yourself we don't need these lights on you start putting oh we probably do um you start putting this pressure on yourself like why is my baby sleeping you feel awful and then we went through the stages of reflux and we went through all those different stages um where she just had to be held to sleep and we'd take it in turns sitting up, holding her, you know, not asleep and we'd just be awake. And that's me being completely honest. And as much as it's amazing that so many women have babies that sleep, some women don't. And, you know, I think we set this unrealistic expectations for ourselves where we're like, oh, you know, they're feeding more than another baby or they're feeding less or they're sleeping more and they're sleeping less. And I had these really two judgy women. I was in this coffee shop the other day and I was rocking Renalia to sleep in my arms and I was feeding her and then I rocked her to sleep in my arms and I had to stand up and the minute I sat down, she had to cry because she wanted to be me to stand up. And they were sort of very judgy looking around at me and they went, don't look at her now, don't look now. And they both looked round at me and I smiled thinking that they'd be nice, but they were so off. And one of them had a baby on her. And I just thought, God, us women, we tear each other down we need to be more supportive of each other because every baby is different every child is different you know every child brings different things to the table that you're going to have struggles with and having anna there is a luxury like i've seen so many people like what do i get my sister she's pregnant get her uh, you know a consultation with the sleep coach get her the help from a sleep coach get her the understanding of wake windows and all these different things which i had no understanding of and Anna has a solution for every single different child and every different thing that comes up. And it's just, yeah, I feel so positive that we're going to have these next couple of days of difficulty, but it's going to be really positive and set us in good stead. So I will keep you updated. I'll keep you updated about everything. And just, yeah, I just, I feel really like we're going to do this. We're going to do this because it's been taking me like walking in the rain while she's in the pram, keeping her asleep. Because the minute I bring her inside, she wakes up. And it's literally been like just it's been a challenge it's been a challenge and i love her so much i'm not yes i'm not saying there's anything about her because it's not her fault it's just it's just it's her it's just her but yeah amazing oh just quickly as well i'm trying to do express milk um and i actually bought these bottles because they were recommended for breastfeeding babies so i've got this starter pack from nano bevy this is actually from kidley i bought these from um so you've got all of these she didn't take the dummies but i'm not bothered i just want her to be able to take a bottle from her daddy so we're gonna try this but obviously i have spoken about the fact i do have an oversupply of milk so it's been hard i did some um uh, some uh webinars with feed eat speak and that needs to be painted um and we did some webinars and basically about how I can express maybe at the beginning of my very beginning feed, my morning feed, where I have a lot of milk, express at the very end of that feed, not every feed, but try and get some express milk and try and get her to take the bottle and 
lots of different ways. And I'm doing a webinar with her, Feeding Speak on Instagram, about how to try and get the baby to take the bottle of breast. Some of the chairs that I ordered from Amazon arrived, so we're putting those up today. And the bench arrived, so we're getting my dad around to do that. Spencer's just doing her tongue exercises with her to strengthen her tongue because she had a tongue tie cut, so. Yes. Chatterbox. Hello, beautiful angels. We just had a feed. Didn't we? Didn't we? Oh, are you trying to put that in your mouth now, cheeky girl? Just wanted to come in and check with you. So we've done three self-settles now. Spencer's been doing the self-settles, haven't you, baby love? Spencer's just ordering some Christmas presents for me. Very exciting, so we've got a Christmas challenge gift swap coming up, which I'm really excited about. But she's done three self-settles. Basically, Anna said that it would be harder to do it with Spencer because she can self-settle easier with me because she's used to me more probably and we you know i'm the one that w was rocking her at the moment because she was becoming a bit like she wouldn't go to spencer so anna said basically let's start with the hardest self-settle situation um and make our work our way down she did an hour and 10 so an hour and 10 then 10 and then 40 um so we've currently got 10 minutes and then you're going to go for another self-settle takes about 45 minutes for us to get down and I think I'm really struggling with it actually today because I'm just I'm, I'm excited for her and excited for this new journey but I feel like I've given up the the um the contact naps and that was such a big thing with me and Renalia and Spencer and Renalia um she loved snoozing on me and I know that's still going to be there but it's just a whole big thing with parenthood you want them to sleep and then you're like when they sleep you miss them and you really need some sleep don't you and you need sleep to grow but then also you find yourself just looking at pictures on your phone of them and doing this lovely thing at the moment where she's shoving her fingers so far in her mouth are they comforting you're so cheeky so we've had a bit of a mare with the furniture and i'm going to show you but angels here is our beautiful table it's just got some glass because the splashback's being fitted so we've got that at the moment but this is the table yes and then this is the bench, which I'm obsessed with. We want it to go completely flush, but it matches and I love it so much. So dad put this all together and I really, really like it. I got it from Wayfair. I think it looks really expensive. I absolutely love it. Obviously we'll pull it out. So these chairs, this is where we've had a bit of a mare. These chairs were actually 90 pound for two on Amazon and they're so nice. Do you like them? Do you like the chairs? But we can't use them because look, that one slots under and that one doesn't so they're too wide so we need to get some thin chairs so i'll show you the ones i'm thinking of getting but would have been really nice but we need to get so the other two are on their way so spencer's gonna have to take them down and put them all together spencer's been cleaning the kitchen so we've got everything down here everything's out here because we've been having a splash back fitted today but yeah so obviously i'll show you it when this is all off but it's looking really nice isn't it and i've got like a nice rug bit to put on that so exciting Spencer has arranged for these. Dad and Spencer are going to be taking all of this to a storage box so we can get rid of them for the moment. But that's exciting as well. Look at that. It's so nice. I love it. It will cut. It's really cool, isn't it? Yeah. Is it literally just going to fall? Yeah, but it's not even holding it at the moment. So I don't know where. Jesus Louise. Here it comes. Oh, wow. Oh. Ah, the beast. So that is the remainder of the tree. Dad's got the tree. Dad's actually having that tree because he wants to make some, he wants to make a sauna and he also wants to make um, some, but look, the garden has to be done. We've got to get sort that fence out. Everything needs to be ripped out, but that's for a whole other day and we're going to wait till it's a bit warmer. 